How do all? It's Chris from DIY Astro. Tonight we're looking at a filter for lunar imaging. It's the Astronomic 642 IR pass filter, which has a 200 nanometer band pass, which is said to be less affected by the scene conditions and increases contrast and also allows you to do lunar imaging during like the daytime because it darkens the background sky, which would also increase contrast. So I thought let's put it to the test. I'm going to crack open the observatory, pop my ASI 462, similar to the 642, so I'm going to get those two mixed up, on the Skywatcher 200p and use my 2.5 times revelation Barlow lens, so we'll be at 5,000 millimeters, so quite a, quite a serious focal length. And I'm gonna point it up the old moon, which is a nice waxing gibbous moon on a lovely clear night, so perfect for this experiment. And I'll image patches of the moon, taking AVI files in sharp cap. Now I'll try and keep all the settings I can the same, so that any before, and after filter shots look the same. I'm going to be doing foot before and after filter shots and keep everything as same as I can. So I'll be using the same gain of 300 in sharp cap. I'll have to reduce it. I'll have to reduce. I forgot how to speak. I'll have to. Hopefully, I'm not having a stroke. I'll have to increase the exposure time when I'm using the filter because that filter is going to soak up some of that light, but I'll try and match it as best I can. And when I go to stack the images in Auto Stack Art, I'm going to stack 50% for everything to keep that the same, tick all the same boxes. And when I post process to tart up the image in Registack 6, I'm going to use a pre saved wavelet pattern. So the wavelet pattern is going to be the same applied to every image I use, whether it's with the filter and without. And simply at the end of this video, I'm just going to show you the results. I'm going to show you before using the filter, after using the filter for different patches of the moon at 5000 millimeters focal length. And I'm not going to give any commentary. I'm just going to let you make up your mind. Feel free to discuss it in the comments or whatever. But the idea of this is to give people an idea whether they want this filter or not without any kind of influence from me trying to persuade them one way or the other. Anyway, I'm sure we're all keen to find out what happens. So I'm going to get in the observatory, get get set setting up before that moon goes behind, sets behind the house and I'll let you know and see some images in a moment, hopefully. 